Hi, Miss Beanie Corn here, and we are doing another bedtime story, and it is called The Sandwich Swap, just written by the Queen of Jordan. So let's begin. It all began with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and it ended with a hummus sandwich. Selma and Lily were best friends at school. They drew pictures together. They played on the swings together. They jumped rope together and ate their lunches together. But just what they ate was a little different. Lily ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day for lunch. Selma ate a hummus and pizza sandwich every day for lunch. And although Lily never said it out loud, she thought Salmon's sandwich looked weird and yucky. She felt terrible that her friend had to eat the icky chickpea paste every day. Ew, yuck. And although Salma never said it out loud, she thought Lily's sandwich looked strange and gross. She felt just awful that her friend had to eat that gooey peanut paste every day. Ew, gross. Then one day, Lily just couldn't hold back those pesky thoughts any longer. Your sandwich looks kind of yucky, she blurted out. What did you say, Selma asked, thinking she must have misunderstood her friend. I said, your sandwich looks yucky. Selma frowned. She looked down at thin soft bread and she thought of her beautiful smiling mother and she carefully cut Selma's sandwich into two neat halves that morning. Her feelings turned mad. Yeah, well your sandwich looks gross and it smells bad too, Selma snapped back. Lily looked surprised. She sniffed the thick squishy bread and she thought of her dad in a silly apron, whistling as he cut Lily's sandwich into two perfect triangles that morning. Lily scowled. It does not smell bad. Does too. Ill yuck, ill gross. That afternoon, the friends did not draw pictures together, they did not swing together, and they did not jump rope together. The next day, Salma ate her lunch at one table and Lily ate her lunch at another. Meanwhile, the peanut butter versus hummus story had spread and everyone began choosing sides. Each side had something not nice to say to the other. Peanut butter breath, jelly heads, garlic breath, chickpea brains. Pretty soon, the rude insults had nothing at all to do with peanut butter and all hummus. You're weird, you're stupid, you look funny, you dressed them. And then it happened. Somebody yelled, Food fight! Peanut butter and hummus sandwiches and other lunch favourites began flying back and forth between both sides of the lunchroom. They stuck to the walls, they stuck to the ceiling, they stuck to the lunch lady when the sandwiches were all gone. Pudding and cups and apple sauce and carrot sticks took flight. Salma and Lily looked at one another from across the rowdy splattered room. They both felt ashamed of what they saw. They both felt really ashamed when the principal called them into her office after they've helped clean up the mess. The following day, Salma set her lunch down across from Lily's. The two girls nibbled on their sandwiches in silence. Finally, Lily got up the courage to speak. Would you like to try a bite of my peanut butter and jelly? Salma grinned. Sure, why not? Would you like to try my hummus and pita? Lily laughed. I'd like that. On a count of three. OK, one, two, three. Ooh, yummy! Hey, this is delicious! And this is heavenly! The girls giggled and hugged and traded sandwiches. 
After lunch, Sauer and Lily met with the principal. Again, this time they were to suggest a very special event for the whole school. And that's how it began with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and ended with a hummus and pita sandwich. So that was the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!